Hello everybody, Thorsten Plat is here. Today I would like to explain to you how you can connect the functions of the looper in Ableton with launch in a scene. This allows us to send multiple commands to different loopers with just one push of a foot switch. This is a great relief if you play live. To show you how this works, I have prepared a small setup in Ableton. Here we go. I have my guitar input track here. Two tracks with a looper and there I still have the drum group that I supposed to run along and I also have a count in here. Live this signal goes to a separate output that I only hear in my headphones, but today you have to hear it. You can see in the track loop 1 here that I have a looper loaded. And here I recorded an audio track with a clip with no signal. I'll show you here is the clip. Now I go to the clip envelope editor here. This is where my 4 bar phrase looper appears and this is where I set the state. Here, you set the state. Okay. I see the red line in my clip. Now I have four options here. Record, stop, play and overdub. At this point I want the looper to record the phrase here. Uh, so I drag the line into the record. For the rest of the process I copy the clip and always set the value to the desired functions using my red line in the clip envelope editor. Stop or here play and you see record again. Okay, I'm going to record a 4 ball loop now and then we'll look at it. I started the looper uh, in the track so you can see the looper, but you can also start the clip via scene launch. Uh, only if I do it like this, uh, you can no longer see the looper. Okay, now I play around with it and you'll see how it works. I go to, I stop the looper here, and you see the looper stop or go to play. Stop again. So I do it over the scene lounge. And it works in the same way. Okay, and now I'm going to play a very short performance where I can see the screenshot and the MIDI floorboard at the same time.
I hope you have seen that the Clip Envelope Editor can be a great help in controlling multiple loopers in Ableton. The song I played here in this tutorial called Nine Months and I released this song under my artist name G.J. Goo. That's it for this tutorial and I hope I see you soon here on my channel.